It's hard to talk about nudibranchs without getting excited because they are the absolute coolest. They look like colorful squishy bits of bubblegum, but in reality they are fierce armored warriors that eat some of the world's most dangerous creatures for breakfast. What is a nudibranch? Nudibranchs are part of the mollusk family, which includes stuff like clams, oysters, cuttlefish, and squid. They live in seas and oceans all over the world, including Antarctica. Lots of people think snails and slugs are ugly and boring, but nudibranchs, they are beautiful. There are over 3,000 species of nudibranch, and more are being discovered every day. Some of them are up to a foot long, but most of them are very tiny. Unlike clams or oysters, nudibranchs don't have a shell when they grow up. How do you protect yourself when you don't have a shell? See those long finger-like projections on the nudibranch's butt? Those are called serida. Sometimes, these structures contain stinging cells, Ow. but the nudibranch isn't born with them. Instead, it steals them from other creatures. Here's how it works. This is a Portuguese man of war. Hello. It's super dangerous, and those tentacles are loaded with venomous cells. Side note, if you ever see one, don't touch it. Man of war tentacles are armed with tiny stingers called nematocysts. These work like little harpoons. When a fish brushes up against the trigger hair, the harpoon fires. Now back to the nudibranchs. Those dangerous tentacles? Nudibranchs eat them. How do nudibranchs manage to eat tentacles that would turn you or I into whining and crybabies? Nudibranchs have some pretty cool defenses. First of all, their mouths and throats are lined with chitin. Chitin is the same stuff that you find on insects and crabs, and it protects the nudibranchs from having their soft, important bits stung by the tentacles. And of course, no nudibranch would be complete without a layer of mucus. This mucus adds an extra layer of protection against stings. The amazing thing about these defenses is that the nudibranch can eat some of the nematocysts and they don't fire off. Then, once they've eaten them, the nematocysts make their way through the nudibranch's digestive system and they're sent to the cerida on their butt. Now those tiny harpoons are ready to fire whenever they need them. Crazy, right? How is all of this accomplished inside the nudibranch? The truth is, we pretty much don't know. Scientists are still trying to sort it out. But one thing's for sure, nudibranchs are anything but boring.